Good morning, Sally. Good morning. We need to learn a little bit of Greek. The buildings are gorgeous, you're right. Here we go, we're going into the museum, our first museum of the day. The Museum of the Acropolis. This is obviously a model of what it could have been uh, the decoration of the west pediment of the Parthenon. So we haven't really talked about the terminology of a pediment yet. We've seen it a few times, so just so we're clear, the, the triangular part, um, the top part of the temple would be uh, where, where the pediment is. We haven't used a lot of that. So, in the very beginning, there was a temple that was built. These are the Elgin marbles. They went along the outside of the Parthenon. The originals of the yellowish ones, the wider recreations that exist in the British Museum. They all show the feast. Gold, weapons were done out of gold, out of bronze, inserted, inlaid, and so on. It was not just as you see quite now. And it was full of life. It was all very. All the buildings are painted, were painted, nothing was white. And that is the West Pediment, the original few pieces that we know, the Athena and the Cyber for their Size of the people and the horses. The right. horses seem very small. Right. Um, huh. There are all sorts of concessions that were made, that were practical concessions. I mean, you're not going to see people who are inside of horses, but you look at these horses and the people who are in front of the horses. Concessions to make it fit? To make it fit and to help with perception from when they're in view. Oh. Um, There's a Greek actually when they can see that also in the yeah. some of the columns. Yeah. And yeah. very minute details in the parking lot where you see some different angles very slight angles and very slight differences in the width, especially around the corners, that they essentially did to... Ah, here is Zeus and Hera. Zeus and Hera. Hera is kind of preparing her veil to cover her hair. And next to them, a winged figure, Iris, the feminine messenger of the gods. Ah, and here is Iris, Mars. Seated. Demeter, the goddess of agriculture, holding a torch because she was going down to the underworld, the world of the dead, to find her daughter Persephone, who was abducted by the god of the underworld. <laughs> and then, ah, this is Hermes holding a petasos, his hat. And I, I'm afraid I don't remember uh, that, that one. One I don't remember. Uh, Hermes. I might have missed. The initials, the initials. When you were talking earlier about the, the peplos that they uh, were talking about, isn't it? This theorized as to this being what this they would be entering. This huge material that you see. Yeah, all the a pep loss. That's a pep loss. Yeah. So, how uh, long you want three times into the Acropolis Museum, and then we go back to the bus to take you from the time you have to go into the bed. That's Athena there. So, and Zeus. How long do you get one side? This is on the east side. So, 
say, let's say 1135 at the, uh, 1135 at the bus. So you don't want to run again. Yeah. Uh, is where you have the, the actual fight, you know, between the Lapiths and the, the Centaurs. Wow. Um, the Centaurs are known for interrupting lots of things, so they interrupt this wedding feast and this fight between um, essentially groups and so this helped to tell you how this works. This entire museum is set up so that the eight columns across the east side and the west side represent the exact spacing of the way the Parthenon was designed. And then how many, Chris, down the side? 18? 17. 17? And this would have been the... Uh... Alright, Chris, what do you call the... It's the, it's the pediment. pediment. The pediment, which is the roof line. Right, at the end of the roof line. And that. And these metopes would have been under the pediment. So you have, but between the, the metopes, the square parts, is what you have. You have triglyphs, are basically three lines up and down that would separate each of the metopes. And they were framed, didn't she say, in some kind of darker marble or something like that? Especially um, in reference to the, the frieze, which people honestly wouldn't have been able to see much because it was on the inside and it would right. have been relatively dark. It was from uh, crossing the, the uh, Agora. Yeah. This is new, 50s. Yeah. They built it in the 50s. Still getting slick, all right. <laughs> I remember the Areopagus being like the slickest thing I've ever seen. No, 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 it's a very dangerous thing. Oh, it's true. So a lot of you guys have already studied Act 17. We'll, we'll talk about it in greater depth, but there are a few possibilities where the Areopagus met. Um, in all likelihood, this is where Paul would have talked to uh, talked to the Athenians. So that famous speech, Men of Athens, and he talks about his experience walking through and seeing a, a statue to an unknown god and explains to him uh, a Christian perspective on things. That's what that plaque is in Greek, is Paul's, uh, Paul's speech. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about it, but for now, keep that in mind as Christina explains to us. The island of Salamis, where the battle took place, will go that way with the bus in two days. To the left is Piraeus, and across here <laughs> is a hill that carries a small Roman funeral monument in honor of a certain Philopapos. Only the facade is visible from the hall of the monument, uh, where are niches where all decorative statues still stand. So the hill of Philopapos, due to the fact that there we have a funeral monument of a certain philopopus. Now, it's a philopopus. It's a person. The Acropolis, we have the Odeon of Herodes Atticos. Herodes Atticos was a very wealthy Athenian, very rich Athenian of the um, second century AD, the Roman period, and he made the donation <coughs> for the construction of the Odeon. When we say Odeon, we mean a closed concert hall. So this was all covered up by a wooden roof. It was not a, a theater. The theaters were open air. This is an Odeon. It had the second story up above the auditorium. It had a, another story. And the only original part from this is the facade with the characteristic Roman arches. The rest has been restored, can hold 5,000 spectators, and that is where the contemporary festival of Athens takes place. I mean, it's tragedy, comedy, opera, uh, concerts, ballet are taking place here. Down there, because the auditorium has been put some on top 